Hello YouTube land people. So today I wanted to talk about how to get vitamin B12 if you are vegan or vegetarian. Um, first of all, let me just tell you that you don't get B12 from animals or plants. You get it from a type of bacteria. So just so all you meat eaters know, it has nothing to do with not eating meat. So you can take that smug look off your face. Anyway, the way I know that I need it is, I okay. First of all, I it's not because I feel like I'm tired. I've never I never felt like I needed it because I'm tired. But usually, if I go a very long time without eating fortified cereals or breads, I usually start craving those things, and then I, that's how I know I need vitamin B12. So first of all, there's this cereal here that has B12 in it. Again, it's a, it's a bacteria. It's not it's not from uh, animals or plants. It's a B12 is a bacteria. Just so you know that um, there's that cereal, and then what I do is I make almond milk, and what I do is I take raw, plain, um, organic almonds, a couple handfuls, and I put them in my blender. And then instead of adding salt or, or uh, water for flavor, I, I add um, organic, unsweetened almond milk. And I blend that all up for a very good, good long time. And then after that, I strain it with this. So you just like milk the almond milk out of the bag and it's so good. You won't believe how good it is. Um, I just told you the best almond milk recipe in the world. So anyway, that's how I do that. Another thing is, um, I don't know if this has B12, but it does have B vitamins in it. And this is pretty good too. And again, I use almond milk um, to cook it with. You can cook it at a low temperature for as um, long as you like, and um, if, if that matters to you. But anyway, and then I sometimes want to have a little bit of bread. This has B12 in it, so lightly toasted is fine. And then again, there's always B12 vitamins you can take. These dissolve under your tongue. And if all else fails and you still are having cravings, for bread or cereals and stuff like that, you can always uh, make a hard-boiled egg uh, burrito. Make sure they're free-range. Again, now don't let eggs mislead you. It's not the animal; it's the bacteria that's in the egg. And an egg, to me, is not even an animal because it's an unfertile. It's unfertile. There's like there's no chicken in it. It's just you know protein and bacteria. And again, don't don't get me wrong. It's not that I need it. I not feel I don't feel like I need it, but I just know because I crave certain things. Um, there is a a study done back. I don't know. I forget where, but there are these people who are um, who live off the land, and they are supposedly vegan. And the way they get their bacteria or B12 that is, is that they do not wash their uh, vegetables or fruits. They eat the the vegetables right out of the ground with the soil on it. Unfortunately, I can't do that because I'm not growing my own food. I have to buy my food from a grocery store like everybody else. And of course, the food is pretty much already washed. Plus, you wouldn't want to eat unwashed food from a grocery store because you don't know you know, even if it's organic, you don't know. You just don't know what, what who's been touching it. Who, you know, what kind of you know stuff they use. You don't know if they maybe it, they did spray it with something or not. You know, you just don't know. So unless you can grow your own food, then I don't think that'd be a good idea. But if I could grow my own food, I would definitely try it, just because I know um, I would know where it came from and and how it was grown and everything. So, um, yeah, and, and as far as protein, I've never heard of a protein deficiency in the U.S. You would be dying of starvation before you died of protein deficiency. So when people say that to me, I look at them like they're retarded because they are. It's basically, it's a mindless question. It's like, it's just a question that people ask because 
they don't have that kind of um, thought process to to think of a, a question that is coherent. So they just think of uncoherent questions, which make no sense at all. Because again, I'll repeat myself in case you didn't hear me. There is no such thing as a protein deficiency in the U.S. You would have to be starving of starvation before you had some kind of protein deficiency. Protein is in everything you eat, okay? Everything has protein. If anything, people who eat meat have too much protein, especially if they're adults. They already have too much protein. That's why people get fat. It's from too much protein, just so you know. Okay, take care.